Are Catholic statues idolatrous? By Most Holy Family Monastery. What God forbids and condemns is the adoration of statues or images themselves, and the making of statues or images of idols and false gods. Deuteronomy 5.8-9 You shall not make to thyself a graven thing, nor the likeness of any things, that are in heaven above, or that are in the earth beneath, or that abide in the waters under the earth. You shall not adore them, and you shall not serve them. End quote. Notice that God says, you shall not adore them or serve them. That's the key. He forbids making statues or images to adore them or to adore idols, creatures, false gods, etc. But he does not forbid using religious statues or images in his true faith and religion. In fact, he commanded religious statues to be made for his temple and they are approved in numerous places in the Bible. Exodus 25:18-19. Quote. And you shalt make two cherubim of gold, of beaten work shalt you make them, in the two ends of the mercy seat. And make one cherub on the one end, and the other cherub on the other end, even of the mercy seat shall you make the cherubim on the two ends thereof. End quote. God specifically commands the making of two statues of cherubim. Cherubim are angels. This obviously refutes the idea that making statues or using religious images is forbidden. Such an idea is a total misrepresentation of the teaching of sacred scripture, which forbids them with reference to the idolatrous adoration of creatures, idols, and false gods. Other passages in the Bible where we see references to God's command to make statues for true religious purposes are Exodus 26 1 First Kings 6, 3 Kings 6 in some versions and 1 Kings 7.25-36, 3 Kings 7.25-36 in some versions. We also find God commanding the use of an image to cure people, an image which, at first thought, some would find surprising. God commanded Moses to make an image of a serpent for the people to look upon and be healed. Numbers 21.8 Quote And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass, that every one that is bitten, when he looks upon it, shall live. End quote. When Catholics honor an image, trust is not placed in the image itself. Rather, we honor the one represented by the image by means of the image. Council of Trent Session 25, Decree on Sacred Images. Quote. Moreover, that the images of Christ, of the Virgin Mother of God, and of the other saints are to be placed and retained especially in the churches, and that due honor and veneration is to be given them, not, however, that any divinity or virtue is believed to be in them by reason of which they are to be venerated, or that something is to be asked of them, or that trust is to be placed in images, as was done of old by the Gentiles who placed their hope in idols, but because the honor which is shown them is referred to the prototypes which they represent, so that by means of the images which we kiss and before which we uncover the head and prostrate ourselves, we adore Christ and venerate the saints whose likeness they bear. That is what was defined by the decrees of the councils, especially of the Second Council of Nicaea, against the opponents of images. 
End quote. The Bible also teaches that even the relics of saintly people are venerated and can be miraculous. See Acts chapter 19:11 to 12 concerning the miraculous handkerchiefs of Saint Paul, and 2 Kings 2:13 to 14 concerning the miraculous cloak of Elijah. Acts 19:11 to 12. Quote. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons, and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits went out of them. End quote. 2 Kings 2.13-14 Quote he picked up the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the cloak that had fallen from him and struck the water with it. When he struck the water, it divided to the right and to the left, and he crossed over. End quote. So, the Catholic position on the proper use of religious images statues and relics is not contrary to the Bible. It is the truly biblical view. Please, visit VaticanCatholic.com and pray the 15 decades of the Rosary every day.